Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to use She Modern Foil Arts with regular, um, regular nail polish. Tina came up with this great idea. Um, so I'll link her video in the description box below as well. And I'm really excited to bring this to you because I think I have... I have some really nice um, regular polishes that I will be happy to color in my foil art with. So let's get started. I'll be using these, this flower design by She Modern, and it is purple. It's flower number one, and it's the color purple. I've already prepped my nails with wave gel base gel. I'm not using the top coat. I'm using regular nail polish today. Um, but I just, I like how this makes everything smooth and I've never been able to test out this theory, but my theory is that this is like really super thick and it might not, it might be a really good barrier between staining your um, nails with regular lacquer. Um, this gel lacquer doesn't stain my na nails, so I don't know if it'll work against regular lacquer or not. That's a theory. I've never wore it long enough to find out. So maybe this weekend I'll test that theory, and next week when I come back to do some videos, I will let you know what happened. I'll be using Dam Polish in Ruby and Hello, It's Me. And I used Brave's Diva Cleat Chaser to make one of the practice flowers. And this is a beautiful topper. You can put it over any color you want. And it especially looks good over black. I have Snow Ice by Wave Gel. So I am using the regular lacquer from that set. I'll be using Unt nail lacquer on it is a peel um base coat but we're going to use it over the foil because it works good at non-wrinkling the foil and over my finished mani i'll be using the zoya naked manicure glossy seal here are the practice ones that I did and I used cleat chaser in this practice one and then I kind of realized oh I really should have done one um like this but basically it'll be the same process that I'm using to do the others and let me see if it will focus on the color shift inside the flower you can see some of the sparkles. You can see a color shift to the, you know, with your naked eye. The camera doesn't seem to be picking it up really well over the white. Okay, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is grab a stamper. I just have some inexpensive stampers that I use just in case something goes wrong. And uh, you flip it upside down so it's flat and clean it off with your lint roller. Okay, so the first step is to cut out your images. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Okay, there's two ways of doing this first step. Now, Tina also used, she used... Sally Hansen's Hard as Nail, or no, Insta Dry in her video. I don't have that. So um, I do know Unt works on the foil, and there was something else. Hmm, I don't remember what the other one was from her other video. I don't have that one either, I don't think. So I know Unt works, so we're going to use that. And um, a paintbrush and a piece of tin foil because we're working with regular nail polish and I just don't feel like cleaning off the canvas with acetone. And that's the only reason because I'm really lazy. So I'm just going to put, let's see, the first way, which, sh which Tina didn't really recommend and you have to be really careful with. So I will show you. 
the first way if you want to do it this way. But you have to get, you have to clean the brush off very, very well. Just hardly any polish on there. And then what you can do is you can put it over the entire flower, just float it, you know, not float it, just put it over the entire flower. You don't want it big and bulky. You definitely do not want this big and bulky. Because if you do, because I didn't outline the flower, you might see the patch around it. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, but um, right now we're gonna do the big one and we're gonna do it in the outline method. So I'm putting a little bit of the unt on the tin foil. My allergies are terrible, excuse me if I sniff, because I'm probably not gonna be able to edit out all of my sniffles. I'm really sorry. Okay, so what we're gonna do, okay, you guys can see, okay. Right. so what we're going to do is we're going to take a fine brush and what you're going to do is you're just going to brush along the edge and in the middle. And you don't want to, you don't want to make it real bulky. So we're gonna do several layers of something onto this one. So I just kind of want to get it thin, but you definitely have to get that edge. And you want to do the center. I did practice this yesterday because I'm working on regular nail polish and I absolutely did not want <laughs> to make a mistake because um, with gel, you can just wipe it off. With regular, yeah, you gotta wait for the whole thing to dry again. So, and actually, it worked out pretty well. I only made one mistake, and when I get to that point, I will tell you what I did wrong. It's not until we hit the glue part. So that is completely outlined. And what you want to do is set that aside to dry. And you're going to want to make sure it dries really good. So when I was practicing, I think I just like did all of this. I, I think I worked on these for like two days, but I made sure that they were good and dry. I didn't just sit here. I mean, I had other things to do. So I think they dried for like a half hour or even more you know, some of, the, some of the things, but you just want to make sure that it is completely dry. Okay, if you're wondering why everything is going to look a little different, um, that's because I did a lot of the steps um, yesterday. So, um, so I didn't have to wait for that one to dry. So this is the dry one I did from yesterday. So that's why the flower looks a little bit smaller. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick out the color that I want to color it and I'm going to use um, Dam Polish Hello It's, wait, yes, Hello It's Me. And you don't need very much, just a little bit. I'm going to put that on the tin foil. And when I made um, the Cleat Chaser one, this is where I put Cleat Chaser on. This, um, this was the step. Okay. All I'm doing is filling in the center of the flowers, the center of the petals. I just made them all the same color. And then you can flip it over and check to make sure that you didn't, that you got it all. Okay, 
that looks good. So then you're gonna put this aside and wait till it is good and dry. Okay, and after your flower is really dry, and then that's when I came in with the white wave gel. And just put a touch, oops, that's like way too much, on my um, tin foil. And then I just did this so that the color would pop. So it would be like kind of bright over whatever color background you choose. And I'm just dotting really thin amounts of it on here. The thinner the better because then it won't look lumpy or 3D like. And um, this is the part I did over the cleat chaser so that it would just be sparkly over the white. Flip it over and look. Everything looks great. Okay, and now it's time for the glue. And I you can see this one right here is the one that I just put the, um, the on to take off. You know, just put it over there, and this is the one that I outlined the flower. This is where the glue becomes very important. In order to get the flower to lift off the um, the the um, the clear part, this clear uh, protector that the foil art is on. See, the foil art is on the clear sheet. So in order to get that to lift off away from the clear sheet, the glue has to touch all of the clear polish. So in this case, right here, I'm going to have to take, I still wanna work with something super thin, so I'm gonna take the brush and I'm going to make sure there's just very little of the glue on it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to cover that whole bit with the glue. I don't think it matters if you accidentally go over it, but what'll happen is if you don't cover it, that image, the flower is not gonna come off. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened actually on this one. It didn't come off, but since it was nail glue, I was able to like scrape it off and it didn't, it didn't actually harm the polish at all. But then I just wanted to show you, this is kind of, you can see, you might be able to see it somewhat. You kind of see the square around it. Depending on your top coat or whatever, you might be able to see a little bit of the edge around it. See? So that's all I wanted to show you. <laughs> And in this method, you're going to take the glue and you're going to outline the flower, especially getting it on, you know, the edges where the foil is. And you want to keep it thin. This stuff is pretty sticky. Kind of amazing. and it um, goes on white and it dries clear so you know when it's ready to go unless of course you stick white on your flower like I did and then well, just kind of guess <laughs> we'll leave it sit here for a while okay that's all there is to it 
Um, I'll just set that aside to dry. Okay, so I'm going to paint my nails and I'm going to use the Dam Polish Ruby. And I already have the base coat on. And this, this polish is really nice. It just, it's really smooth and easy to apply. Doesn't seem too watery that it's running all over the place. So that's good. Um, so I'm just going to put this on the rest of my fingers and then um, I was going to cure it. I can't cure it. I had to wait till it dries and then come back. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put the second coat of Ruby on. And I am just really loving this color. Okay, so my nails are all nice and dry and I've got this little flower here, um, which I am going to trim in half. So I'm gonna flip it over like this. There we go. I'm going to put half there. Probably should have trimmed it in half before I put the glue on the back. And then I'm just going to stick it here like this. And this one will go down here like this. Okay, yeah, I like how that looks. Okay, just thought I'd do something different. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to rub it down really good. And I have some tweezers. Now what I'm going to do is just lift up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lift this up. <laughs> oh, did it work? Hold on. I just have to get the edge. There we go. and you just peel it off and if you did it right the flower will stick on there and the paper will peel up this one peeled up really nice perfect okay and just flatten that down a little bit and now it's time for the top coat and this, um, this polish kind of drives a little on the dull side. Well, it doesn't look dull. I don't know why. This one does a little bit. It can be a little, sometimes it's just not all that glossy. But that's okay. We'll just put a glossy top coat on. And my swatch sticks... It dried like 
a little dull and I put two coats of top coat on. Wow, that looks really nice. I really like this polish. Very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go and wait for my top coat to dry. Thank goodness I'm in the middle of watching some shows on TV. <laughs> I'll we'll do a little bit of binge watching while I'm waiting for my nail polish to dry, but this, this polish is really remarkably gorgeous. Oops. <laughs> well, I hope this turns out. I just remembered I was supposed to put the unt over the flowers first and then top coat it with a regular top coat. So I'm not really sure if this top coat is going to wrinkle my nail art or not. So let's hope not. Here, I have a fake nail and I have another flower, so I'll be able to show you what you're actually supposed to do. So you put the flower on your nail and you push it down and then you peel off the edge. Then you're supposed to put the aunt over it um, because some top coats will wrinkle the foil. So you want to put just a little bit of the aunt top coat over it, or the aunt, whatever the heck it is, <laughs> over it first. And then when that's dry, um, you can put your regular top coat over it. So I hope I don't have wrinkly nail art. I guess we'll find out. So we'll find out after the movie. <laughs> I mean, when it's dry. Okay, and then after the unt dries, you can go in with a regular top coat, anything you like because the unt will have protected the foil art. And that looks pretty perfect. You can see it's a little bit slightly thicker than the nail. Not bad. That means I got the polish layers pretty thin. And on this, I don't think it's wrinkling, but it does look like it needs another coat. It looks like maybe this flower was a little bit thicker, or you might you might want to pick a thicker top coat to go on over it. So we're going to try putting a second coat of top coat. That looks pretty good. So we'll see if that Works a little bit better at blending it in a little bit more than the nail. It looks, looks pretty good to me. Okay, and I think so it doesn't look more shiny than the other nails, I'll put another top coat on all of them. So here is the finished look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.